Hello, 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 everyone. Thank you for tuning in. I am Jay Lee. This is Ellie's Corner. I hope y'all can hear me well. For some reason, my signal is horrible right now. I don't know why. Maybe because I ain't been on live in a week, okay? But we are here nonetheless, okay? And I have missed a whole bunch of topics, a whole bunch of things because I wasn't on YouTube. <laughs> So I'm going to probably do a couple of different lives today. This one is not going to be long. Um, I'm trying to do them in spurts, okay, in parts and parts and parts of conversations. And this is like the women's and what it has happened with these folks around here. I'm going to do another live probably around 530 uh, with the rap beefs and whatnot. Okay, I got to cover OJ up there loose up in heaven in, in the pearly gates or, you know, in the afterlife. I have to do that. But again, we are here. None bless. I, can y'all hear me well? Let me know if the sound is off. If anything sounds weird, if I sound muffled, because when the signal is at a one, I already know that means it sounds, it may sound weird. Okay. But welcome to my channel. Okay. If you have not done so already, take a second and subscribe, 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 okay, to become all jaybird, jaybird, dot, 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 and dot. Uh, you can follow me on social media at Jenny's Corner on IG, Twitter, and Tick of the Talk, okay? Um, what else? You know, like the video, share the video, and all that stuff around here. Now, look, I'm here. Hey, okay. I feel like I look a little bit crazy because, it's, you know, it's it's a Sunday. Um, it's warm now. It's like 70 degrees here, almost 80 degrees today. But because I see my signal is chop, and I don't know, and I probably need to reset my, my router and whatever, just so they can stop. Because I, I, I paid too much money in the cables and in the internet to not have a signal, okay? So again, if I'm, I'm gonna not be on screen much because again, I feel like when I'm on screen, it'd be pausing and I'd be looking stupid. And I don't look stupid. I'm out here, but I don't look stupid, okay? Now, when I go live again, um, by then I would have reset my router and hopefully that'll make it a little bit better. Um, we have some storms here and there. So it's, it's, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, okay? But y'all can hear me, y'all know I'm here. So it's okay, you know, it's okay. But hey, how y'all doing? I'm welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. Look, I never planned to really go off YouTube or go away or whatever, but sometimes I just get overwhelmed and I get all emotional and stuff. And I just kind of don't be feeling up to 
coming on camera and doing content. And I swear, because I ain't been on camera, I think since Monday or Tuesday. I don't know. And like, I think since Monday. And like Tuesday, and then Wednesday, and then Thursday, and Friday. I kept trying to like muster up the energy just to like, and I just couldn't. For some, I, and if I don't feel it, I can't come on here and fake it because I feel like, you know, y'all are feeling it and y'all energy will be off and the mind will be off and this whole thing. But, you know, welcome back. Happy Sunday to everyone. Hello, hello, hello. Hello to the people. Okay, we are here to have a good time real fast, okay? Again, as I said, we're going to only be discussing uh, many things in the thumbnail. So, again, 30, 40 minutes or whatever. But we will be done by 5 because I want to do a second live today with um some other stuff or whatnot. Okay, but hey, how y'all doing? Hello to everybody. Okay, y'all can hear me? Cool. Okay, at least I'm going to sound not messing up. But if I, if I get on camera, child, it's going to be paused and then we ain't got time for that. At all, um, I definitely miss your videos. How you can't pour from you can't pour from the empty cup, yeah, you can't do it. And I learned that, so thank y'all very much. And sending positive, thank you for the positive vibrations my way. I appreciate it, okay. And I, I feel like this, and this, y'all also know, <laughs> not very well, no, not well, no, Jay. Um, yeah, it's been a whole week. A whole week, and I was like, Lord Jesus, what's going what we gonna do now? This morning around 5 a.m., I was up and I re I recapped the good time series. Okay, so you have not seen that. My review for that is already up on my channel. I premiered that at 9 a.m. So that was my first back on the horse of the reviews today. Okay, um, and I know next Friday. Love at the Lockup is back. So I'm a, I'm going to be reviewing that as premieres as well. So, you know, a little stuff come back. Look, you know, Love and Marriage Hunts will come back next month. I will be reviewing that. So, you know, I'm going to get back into this sort of thing because, y'all, when, when it's not no, you know, gossipy stuff or no, you know, the, the stuff in the blogs, I'll be like, child, what am I going to do? I don't know what to do. What I'm doing. I'm saying this. But let's get to the stuff I have saved that I want y'all to know. Um, I have been saving all kind of stuff, y'all. I promise y'all, as you as you see, I have been saving stuff. I've been saving, 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 saving stuff because every day I promise y'all I plan to come live and shit and chat with y'all, honey. But then I just could not get to it because I kept going like no. Today is the day. Oh, it's gonna be one little thing today. Wait till tomorrow, and then tomorrow, child turns into a week. And I said, "Well, you can't do that no more because YouTube's I get paid too. It's a part of the the, the income." Okay, so I just I just stop. <laughs> I usually do not like taking more than a day or two. I've never really done a week just because I just child felt like it. But that's what happened today. So y'all see, I have been saving all kind of stuff to come to y'all and chit and chat, okay? And then you know, just things happen or whatever. Um, I did not watch it. Good times, yeah. I have been um contemplating, you know, if I was going to watch it or not, and because I felt like. I had made a comment saying, oh, you know, we should watch it before we bash it. And I was like, well, you up. You know, it's a Saturday. Just watch it. It's only 10 episodes. Let's see how it is. And child, I fully got into the show to be able to come to y'all with reviews. So I did a full, full review of all 10 episodes. Again, it's up on my channel, so go watch it. Okay. But let's go to here. So the first thing. Because again, I I told I saved all kind of things, but I want to touch on a few weird things and then get into the other thing we have. Okay. When I seen this, Tori Spellman says she can't pee or poop without a seven-year-old son watching her. I said, ma'am, get you a, a CNI dog, get you something. I just feel like I, I don't parents, you know, are used to their children, children 
been all up under them. You know, most parents, they can't get nothing done because the kid is busted in the door. You know, a lot of parents complain about, I can't even, even pee in peace. And the fact that she was saying that while she was married to the Dean man, okay, that he used to be the one who, you know, will watch her, you know. Um, and I said, well, okay. Okay, maybe okay. I mean, whatever. And since her and her husband are broken up, you know what I'm saying? She said now she and she said, look, first it was me, then it was the kids. I think I function better with people. Is that codependent? Well, yes, yes, it is. Um, I feel like that is going to create a weirdness or an un this, yeah, I said weird. Talk, yo, I say weird. That's going to, in my opinion, create a weirdness. For the kid, because when they get a little bit older, yeah, you used to watch my mom poop and pee because she needed me to. You did what? It's that it's just it's just it's weird to me. Okay, um, I feel like you, you know if you are able to pee in peace, pee in peace. You know to call one of the kids in to be with you. But why is that's the one time that should be personal. If, if no other day, if no other time, you want to just be to yourself, it should be while you're in the bathroom pooping and pissing, okay? So, to, uh, Tori, girl, just go sit down somewhere. Please, ma'am, thank you. Um, When I seen that Ice Spice landed an acting gig and Spike Lee's the movie High and Low, with, I said, well, Denzel, what? the Denzel? That bitch, how now, y'all know I am not a fan of that little girl and her rapping at the all. Uh, I read somewhere it said that she always felt like she would be an actress more than she would be a, a, a rapper. Maybe she's a good actress, and if she is, then I, I mean, we've seen some of these rap girls uh act and they can't, you know, from the Korea was it Carisha? Yeah, from Carisha. You know, with you know, on on BMF show, we got sweetie on, was sweetie sweetie on there. Child, we've seen these people try to act and it doesn't work. Now, Spike Lee has never to me came off as anybody who will book somebody in a movie just you know to book them in a movie. I feel like he always will put somebody in a movie that is supposed to be in there and, and connect. So I'm hoping she actually is talented. And not she is going to be someone who is there because, oh, she's Ice Spice. I don't know. But, child, as long as she's not as bad as Lala acting, I guess it's, it is. With, with, I said, with Denzel Washington, I said, if you get in that theater and I see it and you are a Lala or a Carisha or a non-acting rapper, I'm going to be pissed off at Denzel and Spike of the Lee. So we shall see. Okay, it's just weird. I don't understand it. I don't, it's 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 just weird to me, you know, that they I, why no nah, Beyonce act better than Beyonce is a better actress than anybody else I've named because Beyonce and Cadillac Records was really, really good. Um, I also like her in, in Fighting Temptations. You know, I, I like the movie she did, Obsessed. So when people say that Beyonce can't act, I don't disagree with them, but I also just feel differently, I guess. You know what I'm saying? But I don't think, I don't think people, I would not compare Beyonce's acting ability to the folks I, you know, said before. Because Lala is always Lala. You know what I'm saying? La La is La La in a different outfits. Um, but yeah, I, again, I, I like Beyonce and Obsessed. I liked her in, um, what did I say? Obsessed? Oh, Cadillac. I think Beyonce and Cadillac Records to me was amazing. Um, so, yeah. Mm. Anyway, um, what up next? I was going to, oh, Drew. You know, posted she got while we talked a few days ago, well, last week, well, a week or two ago, um, about Drew getting a, a, a starring role in this new TV show on Bounce TV. Uh, we now have a pre premiere date, it's premiering June 1st, called Mind Your Business. You know, she's in it. 
So is Columbus Shorts. I see BB Winings is around there. A whole bunch of people. Now, for me, I'm going to check it out. I'm going to see what it's about. It's a comedy, which I was like, mm -hmm. um, but right here, it's a cute little, you know, a little uh, cast. A promotional uh, a flyer thing for the show, you know, she's happy to be in it again. It's premiering June 1st. I'm gonna watch it now, tell y'all how it is. How, how does she do? You know, we shall see again. It says it is a half an hour comedy series. So, the story of the Williams family, the family owns an event space in Chicago, and you know, she's from Chicago, um, and it's in the business of helping others celebrate life's biggest events. However, when it comes to the Williams family affairs, there's a need for referees instead of DJs. Okay, so we shall see how that goes for Drew Sedora. Also, Tia Mari uh, announced that she is returning to uh, reality TV. She's going to have a new show chart on We TV. I say We TV giving everybody the shows. Okay, uh, We TV gave her a show. Okay. Uh, Newly single status, motherhood, and building businesses. I'm ready to date and discover what makes me happy. I loved when Tia and Tamira had a show together, you know, years ago. Um, if y'all don't know, I'm off screen because the signal is dumb. Um, but I'm here. Hey, how y'all doing? All right. Okay, this is live. Hey, you doing? Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, quick, quick, quick. Anyway, uh, I liked when Tia and Tamira had their show together years ago. You know, I haven't been asking truth in my in the back of my head for them to have some kind of show to be back around here. So Tia now doing a show about her life now, again, as a mom of two children. She has recently divorced. She's having to find herself all over again. Um, again, I feel like this is a relatable show because a lot of people may be going through that as well. And we all like Tia. You know, we all like Tia. And Tia, to me, you know, I feel like Tia is more of the open twin. You know, I feel like we know more about Tia than Tamara. Uh, we know we, we know Tamara too, but I feel like Tia has always been the more outspoken twin. You know what I'm saying? For of the two of them. Um, she says as I'm ready to date, take my multiple businesses to the next level and discover what makes me happy. With this exciting new chapter comes profound changes and adjustments to the role I play in my everyday life. Okay, so I can't wait. I can't wait. Can't wait. And with TV, you know, Re TV usually do things, you know, uh, well a little bit like that or whatever. So we shall see what her new show premieres coming up. Um, what I want to do? That girl who killed her mama and then got out and got married. The gypsy rose lady, you know, going through the divorce. And I'm not she wants that she wants that new husband or her the, the husband the child they've been married for like a week or two. Okay. She only child, she only been out of prison like three or four months. Okay. They're already divorcing, and she wants spousal support. She also wants a friend order. And I said, Wow. A lot. Now, I feel like, can a person who go to jail for murder, even if she did not, look, I just feel like, child, get her off my screen. Okay, send her somewhere else. We care, but then again, we don't care, whatever. But I feel like, is she, is she, she want to be on a TV show? I think she wants to be on a TV show. It's just weird. But yeah, she won't oh, child get out of my face. I'm leaving her alone. Um, the, the child, the old bachelor people, okay, the elders of the bachelors of the, the golden age bachelors, okay, the senior citizens of the bachelors. We have one senior citizen version of the bachelor called, called the golden bachelor. Uh Jerry Turner and Teresa Niss are divorcing <laughs> three months after the wedding. Okay, look. There are many success stories for these shows where you meet someone on a TV show, or whatever, about it. In other show, y'all are like engaged or married. Okay, so it ain't that many success stories or whatever, but this one, I, I guess it was. Look, when you older, sometimes you just don't want to be bothered. And I feel like 
they lived in different states. So and I, I also feel like if you go like if you're gonna take me on a reality show, like the people on the people I'm dating, they need to at least be near me. Okay, if I am a, if I, I live in Michigan, okay, if I'm Michigan, the people on the show need to be in Michigan, may out maybe Ohio, but like it would have to be at least a neighboring state. I feel like they both live like far away from each other. I'm not going to date somebody who don't live in my state. At all. You know what I'm saying? I feel like that's just stupid to me. And when you're older, when you're a golden, okay, an AARP member, there's more that you are not willing to put up with. And that includes driving across town or hopping a flight to flight to flight to see a spouse. I would never marry somebody who don't live near me. That just don't make no sense to me. Now, I'm all for if you live in the same city and maybe y'all have two different houses and y'all just like spend, I, I don't mind, uh, you know, living separately, but spending all the time together we can, okay? Because sometimes I like my face, you like my face. However, you know, these shows that put these folks together and then shit don't work out. I mean, three months for TV time, that's like a whole year or two, you know, but they're divorcing. So, you know, bye bye. Um, the Breakfast Club, a source says the Breakfast Club will be dropped from 105.3 FM lineup in Atlanta. A lot of folks have been saying they don't like the Breakfast Club anymore. And so the question is, this is this a is, can this be this an isolated event where oh there's one station who don't want them no more or are people starting to realize y'all have a shitty show you know um child this one comment right here this said well, I just have to they hired just who struggles with reading I was like not struggles with reading uh doesn't make an effort to research topics or reporting rarely contributes to interviews and has difficulty articulating her thoughts. Overall, she lacks critical thinking skills, making it hard to listen to her without feeling secondhand embarrassment. I said, now that was a fair assessment. Okay. That was a fair assessment. If you ask me, hey, Missy, how you doing, girl? How you doing? You late, but you here. Thank you very much. Oh, hi, thank you very much. Okay. Um, but we're not going to be up and off. Um, once yeah, once ye left, it has not been the same. You know, I feel like, you know, we've, 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 we have been saying that all the time. And I feel like I understand that some people do. Y'all, can y'all still hear me fine? Because it, it's so weird not being on, on camera because the signal is so dumb. Okay. But I just want y'all to let me know if I sound crazy at any point, like if I sound muffled or the sound goes out. But um, I, I understood that some people did not like Angela Yee because everybody don't like everybody, tea, okay? Um, and I feel like I was not, every time I hear someone say they did not like her, it's because, oh, they bring up her and the K. Michelle thing. And I feel like we have to stop disliking people based on one situation if that is not their whole thing, okay? I feel like Yee has put in good work over the years, and that's why she also has her own show. So when she left and had, because I, I listen to her show, Way Up With Yee, way more than I listen to The Breakfast Club. Um, and I feel like any story, I don't care what the breakfast club was gonna say. I don't. Um, they usually have to have somebody else there that I'll listen to, um, other than them three right there. I because it's it's always just weird to me how they have conversations around about stories or whatever. Um once Jessica Reed story became mainstream, I stopped playing uh, paying attention to the breakfast club. Just as for Jessica Reed. Yeah, and, and most people listen when there's other people there. Um, to me, it the record club now feels like more of a joke. Like you're really not going to them to really hear any hard hitting information, any hard hitting interviews. And usually when they do have one, it's not because of what either three of them 
asked. You know, so I feel like maybe other people, you know, don't care either anymore. Okay, we shall see. Uh, the talk, which I didn't know had 15 seasons. Okay, the talk was canceled officially. They talked about it being canceled a few months ago, <clears throat> that it was possibly can't get it being canceled. It has not officially been canceled. Um, this is the final episode. It will air in December. I was like, wow. Um, I remember when the talk first came about or whatever. And what it transpired and turned into, it's just a little bit different. You know, they added some, some men to the cast. Um, you know, I don't know what the demographic is. I don't know what to, I remember when it was Judy Chan, you know, E, you know, uh, Darlene from Roseanne. I remember, you know, the Osborne lady, whatever. You know, Cheryl Underwood, I, I like Cheryl Underwood or whatever. But I feel like they lost, they're just lost in translation. But to get 15 seasons is amazing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, CBS did them, did them great, you know, but I'm not surprised. I'm su Again, I'm surprised it had 15 seasons. That was a lot to me. Um, but again, adios, amigos, to them. Um, a couple of relationship little, little tidbits. Did y'all know that Ashanti used to date Joyner Lucas? I feel like it was like a rumor around here a little bit, little bit, little bit, long time ago. Um, he did. Now, Joyner Lucas is a rapper. You know, he and Ashanti had a song and at least a video, a video together. Um, what was the name of the video? I feel like I saw it one one point in time, but I can't see what it's called. But they had a song together in the video that came out. And I said, oh, they was kissing, kissing or whatever. But he did an interview with Jason Lee. Um, and in the interview, he just speaks about Dana Shanti, how they were they no, neither Ashanti nor him like talked about it while they were together. Now again, Jason asked the question, Joiner in his own way responded just saying how when they were together they were really you know in love you know how they talked about having kids how he's happy with her and how she is now because you know the she has wanted kids and blah 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 blue now some folks felt like oh is he pillow talking is he pillow talking she's a really dope person she really is no she's sweet she's an amazing person so how did that happen? Because you both are so private. Mm -hmm. She doesn't post about guys she's dated mm -hmm. uh, other than, of course, Nelly now. And you don't post about the women that you date. Did the internet catch you guys? I mean, there were photos of her rubbing her, your hair or you rubbing her hair. You guys show a little affection. Um, so we, she, um. <laughs> <laughs> because you never talked nah, about it. No, nah, I don't talk. You know what it is? I'm a private. I don't really talk about it. But what I do, what I will say is that she's an amazing person. I'm just excited. I know how much she wanted to be a mom. How'd you know? I mean, we had those we had those conversations for sure. You know, and it's like, you guys talked about having a baby together? See, this is why I always say that Jason leaves the devil. Because I feel like. Again, Jason Lee asked. I like the fact that he always like she's great. To me, a shawty is almost like a new age egg of do to where you know you don't really hear much about what she's doing or whatever. But the men she's dated always be very highly of her or whatever and whatnot. Um, so he to me, he wasn't like talking about her, but Jason trying to make oh y'all discuss having kids. Anybody in an actual relationship, we discuss children. We talked. We talked about a lot of shit, bro. Like that was. We was. You know what I mean. So, that was your girl. Oh, yeah. So you dated Ashanti. Were you in love with her? Oof. Because she's eight years older oh, than you. So like, do you like older women? I do feel like there's something about older women that like I, I gravitate towards. You're a Leo, so you're a lion. You want the cougar. <laughs> Just a bunch of jungle sex. <laughs> and to me, I feel like Jason Lee was more disrespectful in the conversation than, than than Jordan Lucas was. I feel like he tried to keep it like real, like, you know, still private. Like, yeah, we dated, you know what I'm saying? I knew she wanted to be a mom. I'm happy for her, you know what I'm saying? And I'm like, Jason Lee is the devil. 
okay? And he will sometimes like ask questions and paint pictures and then put words in your mouth or whatever. And I like the fact that, to at least the part I saw, that Joyner never really like gave away any information. He did not, you know, dog a shot. He even he would say, you know, he gossiping. He gossiping. He said, hold up. This is because of the first talk. Was talking, if y'all don't shut the fuck up, me and Ashanti good friends till this day. I'm happy for her and got nothing but love for her for real. Um, I'm the last one to pillow talk, never been my style. And I feel like he really wasn't pillow talking. I think Jason Lee tried to ask pillow talking questions. I felt like Joyner laughed stuff off because to ask someone, would y'all in love? Well, yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? I don't have to say that, okay, then to say, oh, she's older than you, you like cool and say, well, look, look, if she's a cook, whatever. You know what I'm saying? Who, who cares? Jason Lee is the devil, okay? He can have all the famous friends he wants. He can try to make it seem as if he ain't a, 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 a messy individual, but he is, okay? But I was like, I didn't know they dated. But I'm telling y'all, when I went and seen y'all, because I don't rem I don't remember what the name let me see if it's in my um in my youtube stuff because you know you watch stuff it'll show you what you watch and when i seen that interview i said they did a, a thing what was it called jesus because and when i went and looked at the i said oh they was dating day in i don't like it oh it's called let's see the song is called Fall Slowly by Jordan Lucas featuring Ashanti. The video is on, it's on YouTube. Cha. It's on you. You see right here? I don't want I don't want to because I don't want it to play. So right here is there. This is a let's look at right here. Okay. Um it's from it's from a it's from a few years ago. It's from like I don't know how many years ago it was. However, you know, that's them. Okay. And I said, Oh, y'all was like kissing in the mouth. Okay, Lord Jesus. Anyway, to me, he was not full of talking. I love seeing, you know, uh, uh, Megan and Prince, you know, the prince and princess and you know, around here. You know, to me, because there's so much speculation about, you know, the royals and that they're happy and blah, blah, blah. I love it when I see them living their own little life or whatever, and they look genuinely happy. Now, they don't mean they're perfect, you know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure if he left the toothpaste off the, off the, the cap, off the toothpaste, you know, it aggravates her and whatnot. But just to see how even how they walk in, like, when I see them walking and he's like off like reaching out for her or she's reaching for him, I think that is like, you know, this, you know, uh, affirmations of love, okay? Because again, I'm always making sure that you're okay wherever you are around me, okay? Child, first of all, her outfit. Okay, her outfit. Child, Megan who? <laughs> William who? Child, Harry and Megan, okay? Princess Megan Markle and Prince Harry look so good. You hear me? I said, hey, Prince Harry. Um, child, I love child. And the child, I'm so happy the weather is changing around here. And I can start putting on some real clothes. Okay. But I love her outfit. Okay. It's a, and I'm like, are those kulaks? Is it a skirt? It can be both. I love the crisscross applesauce around the boobitch. Okay. The neckline, the, the arms being out. It's so cute. Okay. So, you know, that's her dress, but I'm just saying it's child, a couple of couples. Okay. Also, a uh, person who was on uh, Martha's Vineyard, uh, I'm sorry, who was on Summer House Martha's Vineyard, you know, he happened to be a gay man. He's engaged. Okay. He got engaged to his man, Donald. And look, even though I am a heterosexual woman, I am I still feel like when I see our, you know, our, our LGBTQIA community people, and I see some of our, our gay men, whatever. I, look, no tea, no shade. It's something about black love that I like. We have, because sometimes we see 
we see, you know, uh, famous or people who get famous or whatever, or or reality people who we say, oh, they're gay, cool, cool, cool. And then they have, you know, a, a Caucasian counterpart or whatever. And ain't not like, date who, date who you want. I'm not knocking. I'm just saying a piece of me is extra happy when I see people in extra black love, okay? And they engage to be married and whatnot. Now, I don't know who proposed to who. Let's see. Let me say it. Um, who who who? I don't know. It don't matter. Yeah, okay. Um, and I'm assuming that he proposed. I'm I'm assuming that Preston proposed because I think that man is wearing the engagement ring. Okay. Um, but again, happy, happy, joy, joy. Okay. Uh, to the black love of it all. Um, let's get. Oh, congrats. To Brittany Renner and her wife, uh, Sherelle. I think, I think her name is Sherelle. Is it Sherelle? I don't know if it's Sherelle. Uh, they are expecting a baby in a couple of months, they're due in July. Um, you know, I feel like you know, Brittany, whose child was over there, um, <laughs> and came home, child, and, and now they walk. I, I just feel like I feel like a lot. She, Child, this Brit, this Brit, because Britney's gonna go out. I don't know. I'm trying. I'm trying to be politically correct and use the proper nouns, pronouns, verbs, adjectives, all that stuff. Um, congrats. Okay, that's it. So, okay, they are happy that their bundle of joy will be here pretty soon. Yeah, when your wife is basically, you know, hell captive over there in Russia. Um, you want to start a family because you really love your person. You know what I'm saying I've seen I've seen people say things because Brittany, you know, who y'all yeah, think Brittany goes by female female pronouns. Um, you know. I'm happy or happy. That's it. That's all. Um, but again, congrats to them on the baby in the way. Again, the baby we do sometime in July of this year. Congrats. Congrats. I just feel like, you know what I'm saying? They went a lot. And when I saw comments, like, oh, why would why would you give uh, stupid comments or whatever? Love, love, and we'll leave that at that. Um, let's get to the stuff that's on my Look, my little thumbnail around here, right here. Okay, but first, if y'all could do me one little favor and like the video, please. saving people dancing to make a new dancing video whatever i can't wait to be able to put it together to put forth a new dance right thing okay but we shall see okay uh, i hope y'all all hey my hey my that's my mama i saw because i'm gonna face me y'all but i was gonna lie and she faced at me and then hung up okay she faced at me and then hung up on me so i'm gonna i'm gonna face you so you can say hi to the people I think she at home right now. Um, let's see. Say hi to the people. Well, I'm not like that on camera, but they can hear your voice. 
was just coming on the screen. Oops, that must have been a a, a purse dial. Oh yeah, you calling from the other phone. So I'm not on oh, camera. Oh yeah. This phone had died when I was out and about, so I was on the other phone. So yeah. yeah. But hey, I was gonna call you, then I saw you online. They have the people, they can hear you. Hey to the people, to all the J Birds, the guests, the lurkers, the friends, all the people. Hey, happy Sunday. Okay, I'm gonna call you when I'm done. When I was looking at the little dance break video, though, I said, me and you, we got to do a dance break video. Oh, oh Jesus. Take that would be so much fun. <laughs> okay. We'll think, we'll think about that. Uh, All right. Have to the house. Day, See you I'm going to call you when I'm done. Love you. Love you, too. Mm. Peace. <laughs> Peace. So, <laughs> Child, I got dead for my mama on the thing. Lord Jesus. Anyway, y'all, I want y'all to be able to, to hear my mama, okay? Uh, cause you know, like, for my y'all, when I get off here, I'm, I promise I'm gonna reset my modem that will hopefully fix. Cause I'm like, why is it on one knock? I don't know what's going on and whatnot, okay? But let's get back to the stuff, okay? Um, I want to get on Monica. Some folks said, "What did Monica? What happened with Monica?" Do y'all know Monica's on tour with, with uh Nicki Minaj, okay? And she did a video after an episode. Now, y'all know Monica, before she was on the tour with Nikki, whatever, she was on little spot dates here and there. And there had been rumblings, okay, about her voice not being the par, her not sounding too good, singing or whatever. And now that she's on the tour with Nikki Minaj, and she sounds a bit a, a bit better. So Monica was, was addressing, you know, child, her voice being, you know, not the best and stuff. Okay, let's see. Monica sound terrible. I realized that when I step on stage, I have to be my absolute best for you. When I first had the surgery, I did not do the necessary training. I did not do the rehab. I did not do anything. I just went back to the shows because I never wanted to miss a show. These were obligations I had before the surgery transpired. And the reason I said thank you to Shade Room, the reason I say thank y'all, thank you to y'all every night, the reason I say thank you to Nikki emphatically for trusting me with a space like this in her show, after going through what I did, I did not know what any of that was gonna be like. And yeah, I took the punches. Oh, people with Monica can't sing, Monica sound terrible. Monica this, Monica that, Monica, Monica, Monica. But again, it goes back to what I said, to whom much is given, much is required. And what was required of me was for me to say, listen, you had a serious surgery. You know what that meant. Nobody else has to know. I don't need to put up the videos. I don't need to put up what it was like. I don't need to put up my whole hospital stay. I don't have to do that. The reality is that I should have stopped and taken the time um, four months, canceled all of those shows, you know, because the thing is, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. When you cancel, they're mad at you, but when you come out and you don't sound good, they're just as mad. So what I learned in those moments is to take the time to properly recover. And when Nikki offered me this honor, I'm like, you know what? I'm going to rise to the occasion because of Rob Stevenson doing the vocal training and Mindy doing the rehab consistently, me changing my diet consistently, me, shit, I miss fried fish, I miss, I miss some other potatoes, I miss all of that, but. I think Monica, let's have that, I feel like at one point Monica did not sound like she used to. I had this sound like this because she got a little bit older, okay? But I do know that with singers, you have to, protect your voice you have to protect your gift and i feel like monica did not want to cancel any show because that's money on the table like my look monica ain't putting out no new music okay that in my opinion but like make her a bunch of money whatever so she a lot of these artists are making money on the road making money on tour and if you don't sound good and people are like, oh, she sounds bad, some people would not want to book you for a tour because you are not going to entertain and people won't pay to see that. I do feel like Monica Gress, sit your ass down sometimes, okay? I feel like if you had surgery, it's okay to sit down, rehab your voice so that way 
will you come back? You sound good. Okay. Now I've only heard great things about her on tour with Nikki. You know, as far as her fans. Okay. Now we know the timing of some things a little bit different or whatever. But again, I'm happy that she is realizing, hey, sometimes sit down some damn well. Sometimes pause it on out and be sure to rest your voice and take care of your voice. Because that's 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 your bread and butter. Okay, your bread and butter. Okay, next up. Um, I want to get on Lil' Kemp. Child, I don't know. I don't I don't understand Lil' Kemp. Okay, y'all supposedly her boyfriend, a legend said boyfriend, okay. He is 24 years old, named Tay Brown, okay. You know, Lil' Kim is 49, which means she is 25 years his senior. But I'm like, is Lil' Kim okay? I was like, uh, uh, yeah. I am a for That's good. It was a really nice Adidas party. You see this? This is Adidas. Let me show you. It is fire, bro. Can you see it, man? Yeah. Yeah. Is Lil' Kim okay? Because I can't, I can't look. Like, yeah. like I feel like when you were working that hard just to show the, the Adidas strike, uh, stri I'm like, man. Yeah, you see yeah. the, the yeah, black we still, right? Nah, we seen it. Yeah, for sure. This is fire. I'm not gonna lie. I like this. They kind of like gave me the fire. The most custom made. Somebody called 911, okay? I don't feel like Lil' Kim is safe. <laughs> but Adidas, Adidas, look. He's my favorite singer. Yeah, I promise y'all, it feel like Wendy Williams. When Wendy was sometimes like child, just child, a little bit of dementia. <laughs> <gasps> He's okay. like, Dang it! I love these. And they're gonna next time you see them, it's gonna say Lou Kim Queen B in the back. Somebody get look child. I blame Puffy. I feel it. But I was like, I love her, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, I'm a woman for that's good. It was a really nice Adidas party. I feel you see like he, look, they both seem a little bit hot. Okay, and you know, I don't know why Lil Kim is in her closet with a twenty-four-year-old kid. I don't know. Uh, again, people's child, <laughs> but they look, they act the same. Childish. The most custom. I don't look. I don't get the sunglasses. I don't get. Child, somebody go call 911 and get Lil' Kim out of here, okay? Um, Maybe. Is she, a, she a cougar? I feel like if you are uh, you're almost 50 and your boyfriend is half your age, you're a cougar, okay? You're a full, full cougar. The same way y'all, Drea and that look, and that boy, you know, Drea's, Drea's 39 and her that man she's supposed to be allegedly pregnant by is 22, okay? Coolerness, okay. The difference to me is Lil Kim seem high, and my question is: Is he getting Kim high, or was Kim getting him high? Somebody around here who is doing it, okay? Who is getting the the, the bottles? Who is subscribing? Whatever it is, because child, it just don't seem normal. <laughs> but Adidas, I'm gonna leave her alone because you know what I'm saying we're gonna pray. We're gonna pray for Lil Kim. We're gonna pray that she gets the help she needs uh, someday and maybe the day is day. I want to touch on April Jones. Okay, now we know April from her being, you know, having two kids by Omarion. We know that she was on Love and Hip Hop for some time. She had a relationship with Lil Fizz for some time and then she got with Tay Diggs for a little bit of time and then 
seemingly her and KDX broke up because we stopped seeing them together. While on live with fans, I'm assuming, you know, and the fan was saying, hey, you know, we saw you. We, we felt like you were so happy with Tay. And this was her, in my opinion, defensive response as if she wasn't a person who put out the evidence that she was happy. Mostly with the Tay situation, because you guys look like you brought out the best in each other. Got it. Like you seemed, I, with you being a public figure. So again, y'all seem to bring out the best in each other. You know, it seemed, and this is all based on videos they put out of, of them together. We've seen you the happiest with Tay. And we never got closure with that. <laughs> well, so we don't know what happened. Because again, her and Tay was all out, you know, on the blogs, on social media, dancing, kissing, hugging, canoodling, all that stuff for some time. And then out the blue, they both just stopped posting each other. But neither one of them addressed nothing so seemingly they were like this happy couple and then no more interesting to me i guess what i would like to do because i dissect these sorts of things where it's like a person can say that doesn't know you well we saw you the happiest yeah and so i'd like to know outside lee how a person can make such an assessment um, when you put out videos of you and said man it is in situations where you seem happy like it's like what do you mean why would someone make that assessment if you put out a video smiling laughing hugging and kissing with this man and then professing y'all love to each other you know publicly why are you acting like somebody peeked in your window and saw you smile one day and assumed y'all was happy you gave us the window to peek into right which is we saw you the happiest with this person. Yeah. So what does that mean? What does that mean to you to make a statement to someone who's actually really living a life where maybe it is their happiest, maybe it's not, but what you True. saw felt that way. Mm -hmm. So I like to know how you can say to me, the person who's actually living it, hey, this is what we saw from you and why you felt like you thought that's what it was or or you knew that's what it was. My response would have been, bitch, did you for real? Did you not post the content and that I'm discussing? I, my, April, I'm saying that because you and Tay Diggs posted videos and clips and y'all recorded yourselves seemingly happy. Now, if that was fake and fraudulent, if the content you put out wasn't truthful, that's not my fault, ma'am. That is yours, that you put out a perception that you were happy, okay? Because we've seen you put out content of you being unhappy, okay? Like you and Fizz, like you and Marion. You can, we can only judge based on what you put out. We were not in your house watching your, like, Child, when, when Tay put on like a onesie and was dancing, y'all laughing, y'all put that out. We were the house. Everything we seen of you and Tay was because y'all put the content on social media. That's why. Why don't you think you was happy? I guess it's from experience. Like you can kind of see it in the eyes. You can see it in the in the demeanor. And that is the happiest that we've seen you. And that's in public. true. Because we rarely saw her happy in public with Amaria or Lil Fizz. Got it. But we, we know it's it's a lot that goes on behind the scenes. However, there was a lot of turmoil and drama and a lot of stuff that happened on the show and this was outside of the show this was you showing us another side of you um that we really enjoyed seeing and i feel like april did that on purpose okay i feel like april knew how things looked on love and hip-hop she knew how things looked between her and marianne how things looked between her and fizz and how that got very very messy and people assume 
she was this unhappy, messy person. And then out the blue, we seen all this content with her and Tay and this fun, happy side of April that we did not get before. You know what I'm saying? And then you like, well, bitch, if y'all was unhappy, we didn't know. <laughs> so I wasn't showing another side of me. It was just always who I was. Yeah. Right. But you know, to but, the public, you know, we, we only get to see so much. And like you said, we we judge based on what we, we see. But what you, you put out. Um, you got but you see, but you also judge on what you don't know. And so exactly. To, right. So exactly. It's always a fact factor of that and then I think a lot of ma'am let me and I'm gonna end it everywhere ma'am if you and Tay wasn't really happy you should have said that don't get defensive with me because I don't know the ins and outs of your relationship and all I know is what you show me April to me April is immature and the fact that when her relationships end, she always feels like if somebody has an opinion based on the information put out, that she is then defensive about what no one ever saw. I can't comment on what I didn't see. I can only comment on what you showed me. If you don't want me to have my opinion, then don't show nothing. Keep your business out the streets, April. Okay. Anyway, that's one. Because April, I'm like, ma'am, don't be right. Don't be acting defensive because you is what you showed us. Hey, it's what you showed us. Um, Kenya is gonna be back on the next season of the Housewives of Atlanta. I really want Kenya. This upcoming season 16 to make sure that she's creating a space for her to no longer be on Housewives. I feel like Kenya, you know, I knew they would bring her back for this season. I also feel like you've been on for long enough. I need you to have your next thing sitting on sitting on ready. Okay. You need to be preparing yourself to no longer be on Housewives. You may get, you know, another two seasons, and I was, that's season 17, but you should not be planning. Okay, I'm going forever be here. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay. And I love Kenya. I do. But they're going to be, in my opinion, revamping Housewives and getting the old. And I'm old in age, as I mean, people have been on for a while, getting the old people off, in my opinion, because we can't, what else is there to see? There's nothing else for us to see. You know, now I am very interested to see how her and Portia interact. Um, so that is a great thing, but I, I don't feel like Kenya will be on here, you know, through season 20, you know, and I just don't want it to get to a point to where. She is like she doesn't have something coming up. You know, she doesn't have a new endeavor sitting right there on her pocketbook, um, ready to make up some money. So I'm like, girl, just just get it fed out. But welcome to season 16. Okay. Jenny Mai. Lord Jesus Christ. Jenny Mai. Let me see. Because we did Kim, we we do. We got Monica. I'll go to Wendy. Um, I hope I, I hope I got Wendy on somewhere. Jeannie, Maya, and Jeezy. A part of me always feel like Jeezy around here on some bull stuff. Okay, fully entirely on some bull stuff. Because Jeezy has other like. Jeannie Mai is not his only baby mama, okay? And I don't believe that he has custody of other kids. And he's up here now petitioning to get custody of their child. Because he's saying, oh, you know, she's too busy to really, you know, be the, the, the mother figure that you know i need her to be and i was like what 
And I just feel like, well, well sir, full question, are you not working? When someone says, oh, they're too busy to be a parent. They're too busy. You know, the, their, their people are what, you know, her mom or her family or whoever, you know, so-and-so and so-and-so and so-and-so are the ones raising our daughter. So I should get custody. I'm like, but sir, aren't you a rapper, a traveling rapper at that? Ain't you want her traveling from state to state doing shows? So my question is, when you are somewhere traveling, doing shows, as a traveling rapper, who is going to be the one watching your child? Wouldn't you have to have, uh, have a sitter? Wouldn't someone have to watch the baby while you on stage? It aggravates me when men like to put these expectations on the wives or the big mamas of their children. Hey, you can't be too busy to be at home with the kid. I need you at home with the kid all day. You can't be working. You can't be traveling because if you travel, you are not fit to be a parent to my child. I'm like, sir, you got with her. She was busy. When she, had, she was always who she was. So why now do you want, oh, now you want custody? Now, you know, you, you know, you, I was, it's just stupid to me. It's dumb to me. I feel like parents every day in everyday life work. You know, you have parents who are gone, and they if you if your parents are flight attendant, they're they're working. If your parents is a pilot, they're working. I feel like we have to stop having these imaginative expectations that if you are a parent and you're having to work to pay bills, and so you're lucky enough to have your mom, brother, or whoever, family members to help you watch your child while you're out working. That's what regular people do. That's what regular people do. And I feel like it's a, a power play to try to make it seem as if, well, I'm a better parent than her. Because he already, I feel like he already felt like she, he already said it before, he felt like she was too controlling of their of the of the child you know what i'm saying she kind of controls stuff with the child and we already knew he did not like that to me this is just the next step in trying to say you know what you can't control shit so i'm gonna say you work too much you work too much and there's always somebody else watching our kid so i have primary custody but I'm like, but is that in the best interest of the child? Because if she has family helping her raise a kid, ain't that what family is for? And if she make enough money, maybe she can start working. But until she does it, she's a working mom. So I, it's, to me, it's almost mom shaming. In my, in my opinion. She's not leaving the kid with random strangers. She's not, you know, she's not, she's not like abandoning the kid and like, you know, and we don't know where she at. Who is her mama? Who lived with y'all? And again, Jeezy has other children. But is it anyone's fault that the other kids' mom, you know, just are not, you know, of the working class people who have to like travel and be gone? Maybe they mamas work at I don't know, you know, is 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 a legal secretary at a law firm and work on that. I don't know what the other, other mom do, but I feel like you know to get to the point to where it's like, oh well, yeah, you know, you work too much. You know what I'm saying? So Jeezy is asking the judge to toss out their current custody agreement. 
because I think now it's like joint, if I'm not mistaken, or whatever. We want to toss out the current custody agreement as he seeks primary custody of the daughter, okay? Since he first agreed to move to the basement of their family home during their breakup. However, once Jeannie moved out, she took their daughter with her. But what did you think that, what, what did you think would happen, Jeezy? When you file for divorce from your wife and y'all have a less than one year old child at the at, at that time, where did you think the baby would go? <laughs> did you think she did you think she would have stayed there forever and you would be in the basement and it'll be no. No. So even the notion of saying, well, I was in the basement at first, okay. But then, you know, once she moved out, oh God, uh, the, the she took the she took the baby with her. Where would else, where else would the child go? What did you think? What did you think would happen? I, that's the dumbest shit. However, once Jeannie moved out, she took their daughter with her. Well, that's what most mothers do. When people are married. And people get divorced during separation when one person moves out. Usually one of the parents takes the child with them. That's, I'm like, that's the, that's the you know, when, when my mom left my bio father back in the 80s, we went with her. Even though I believe, if I can recall, if I can kind of recall correctly, he tried to stop that from happening. And thank God, my mom was able to, you know, take me and my sister with her. But most parents who leave, they do take the children, unless the father trying to be an asshole and say, well, no, you, you can't take my kid. You know what I'm saying? And to me, that's what it sounds like Jeezy is trying to have happen. I'm like, I don't understand. Like, I don't. Get when when Tia and Croy broke up, the kids stayed with Tia. I'm like, I don't get how people. Well, I can't believe she can. What? So should she have? Should she have given him the baby? Because if she had gave him the baby, y'all would think that I can't believe she gave away her kid to the daddy. Right. She don't leave the kid there. He asked for the divorce. You know, even when they were together, the baby traveled with Jeannie. When she worked, he is acting like this. Thank you. When Jeezy kept on saying how when he was gone and Jeannie was at home with the baby, she would go places with the baby. It's a Jeezy alleges that Jeannie's mother and brother primarily takes care of the, of, of the baby, of uh, Morocco, and that G, that Jeannie's traveling schedule isn't good for their child. She reportedly accused Jeannie of preventing his time with the daughter for nearly two months. My thing is this. You want you to make sure that you have visitation with your child. That's one thing. I support that. However, making it seem as if, well, she has help, you know, what she's supposed to have help. Period. So to me, Jeezy's being an asshole. Child, this, <laughs> this comment right here <laughs> from Nina, Nina Boo. Says if I were Jeannie, I'd be a court like your honor. Jeezy like to drink. Jeezy like to smoke. Jeezy likes to make Armor Hammer with a Coke. Okay. Listen to the music. Again, uh, uh, why didn't he seek full custody of his other kids? Not parents picking and choosing which kids they want to raise. A person saying, oh my God. You have too much help from your mom and your brother because when you have to travel for work, your mom and your brother is watching my child. Yes, come on now. They did because Kayla Nicole, the social media girl, 
Well, her her man broke up, and she said he asked me for the kids, and I said yes. She said because he was in a state that had all our family there with all the support, and I would have been here by myself. Why should I be here by myself struggling with two kids? And he asked for the children. She said, what's wrong with a father raising the children? What's wrong with that? And I feel like she was right. Her thing was, why would he have to leave me with the kids? We had a conversation. He wanted them. Here you go. However, we share custody. He just has primary custody. And folks tried to dog her and said, oh, you're an absentee mom. You let the daddy raise the kids. And she's like, well, how is this, this their daddy? The fuck? You know what I'm saying? So it's like, for Jeezy's point to be, well, her mom and brother is helping. So what? When you on tour, who will watch the kids? Child, it's weird for me. It's weird for me because it's two different things. Jeezy is saying she won't let me get my time is one thing. Separately, I want primary custody because I feel like her mom and brother babysit too much. Stupid. Dumb. Redundant. Get some on nerves. Okay. So again, they're gonna have to go to court. Okay. And I feel like it's this is messy. <laughs> it, and it's, it, it's, I won't say it's funny, but the fact that Jeannie Mai initially did not want children, but only because she felt like she may not be a good mom because her mom was the best mom. Her mama wasn't like emotional with her. Okay. And I think through Jeannie Mai becoming a mom, that's helped her heal. Some of her childhood shit, and also probably help her mom learn be better. Okay, but gee, you married her first and only wife, and look what you did. Okay, uh, Wendy, Wendy and them, Wendy her husband, they house, the whole house got burglarized. I said not the burglarized and of it all. So Wendy and the husband and the family was on vacation or whatever. I had saw her posting about being on vacation and i said child you may not want to do that now because on folk know you on vacation and get the problem and I, I swear i had that thought i'm like you should never post while you're gone from home you're, you're supposed to post once you're home so that way you know what i'm saying folk don't know where you're at and what you're doing okay um, but anyway, she came back from the day of vacation, kind of home, burglar arrived, and stole some jewelry, some Birkins or whatever. Um, I feel like when I, I saw, I just watched part one of the reunion uh, of, for, for Potomac, and when Eddie said how their, the weed business in like six months at that point in time, in six months, they had like $2 million in revenue. Um, I'm like, they making some money over there, okay? Making some money. Um, but again, it's the burglary took place sometime last week in 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 Finksburg, Maryland, uh, when they were on vacation in Jamaica. And child is stole uh, a few Birkin bags, they took some jewelry or whatever. Um, and again, you know, she put up how you know they felt violent, they they're very devastated. But look, when somebody breaks into your house, you you feel vulnerable, you know, because somebody was in your space. So I feel for her. Um, I also feel like people think that these people are like rich, rich. They may not be rich. Um, and I think people. I, mean, I don't. I look. I would. Ne I, I don't understand burglars because I'm like, I would never want to risk breaking in someone's home and getting killed. Because if you come in a certain people's houses, if you come in certain people's houses, you're going to go meet Jesus. You know, but thank God they went home. Thank God they're safe. You know, it just is this stuff that can be replaced. But y'all, people, if your if cousins are about to rob it, 
tell them stop. You know, tell them stop. I also feel like some of these Berkeley people may be watching y'all. Maybe they maybe they watching people to see who, and, and I, I said that for famous folk. I think for famous folk, they will watch you to see you're coming and going, and then they, I'm going to bring it out. I'm going to get in there. And I'm like, you're going to meet Jesus today. Anyway, um, let's get to the end resistance, okay? Because again, these folks up in child. Portia, Fallon, and Dennis Omar. Okay, and a look, a little bit of Simon uh, up in the mix, if you ask me. Um, I feel like Portia Simon divorce is going as it is. Okay, we've seen some photos of Portia with Dennis. Um, you know, because they share Pilar, in my opinion. And then we started seeing little wrinklings, wrinklings, little rumblings of, of Fallon. Fallon was on the baller alert, baller alert show talking. I said, girl, what you talking for? Shocked to find out when Portia and Simon separated? No. Was anybody? Do you think that was real? No. The whole relationship you don't think was real? You don't think it was real at all? No, I think it was just a ploy to get back at me. So let me ask now, you this. If you she said that. When she said that, I feel like her point was, I was already banging Jalen. Me and Jalen was already messing around. Me and Simon was already on bad terms. So he and Portia was like, okay, we mess around. And so Simon tried to like get back at me for getting with Jalen by messing around with Portia. But again, Fallon, you was fucking Jalen. Okay, you fucking genuine. Ah, uh, bless us. If you ever ran into Portia, what would you talk to her about? That wouldn't be a safe scenario. Oh, oh. Why? It's smoke. For her or? It's smoke. That. I mean, at the end of the day, she knows what she did. It, it could play out in the media. However, everybody wants to try to play it out. I know what she did. Simon knows what she did. Portia knows what she did. That wouldn't be a safe scenario. So. I I wouldn't even put myself in a predicament of even allowing that. You know, I'm a grown woman now. I feel like, ma'am, now why would you do and say that? I feel like there's no reason that Fallon should have, like, issues with Portia. That's weird to me. Um, Even in seeing, well, yeah, that's not a safe situation. You know, that ain't how it would be. I just feel like you and Simon are divorced. Y'all have been divorced. You know, Portia and Simon are going to be divorced. There really should not be any beefing situation between you and Portia. I feel like at the end of the day, I don't think Portia, the reason you and your, you and your husband, you know, broke, you know, just divorced. I feel like the only thing Porsche to me is guilty of is playing along when Simon was playing internet gang with him and Fallon divorce. You know, and we don't know what happened behind closed doors. We don't know what happens um within any private conversations. But I feel like in 2024 or anytime going forward, there should be no beef between Fallon and and, and Portia. Over Simon, okay, in my opinion. Now, Simon was around here, child, trying to look cute. I said, child, why is this man in the what is What is he doing? Okay, he said, I'm in the best shape physically, mentally, and emotionally. Get off that couch and stop feeling sorry for yourself. Let's go. Looking forward to the comments. Your comments reside on my page at my discretion. Will restrict and block. Child, get out of my face, Simon. Okay. He, child, I was like, Simon, what are you doing? What are you doing, Simon? I don't know why he in the mirror posing. Um, he, I'm intentional when I choose to share my life. I'm equally intentional when I choose to restrict or block you. Either way, my page, my rules. Sir, calm down. 
okay, stop it. Now I feel like again, we be seeing Porsche posting shit. We be seeing family child, everybody, everybody in this messy ass child. Is it, I don't, is it a triangle? No, it's a square now because it's four people. Because on top of Simon trying to post thirst traps, okay. Now after that. Drank this for real. Absolutely. It's for my real. favorite. Henny what? Henny what? Henny who? <laughs> Henny who? Come on, man. Henny where? Stop playing. Yo, pull up in Montgomery, man. Drank this for real. Absolutely. It's for my real. favorite. Henny what? Henny what? Henny who? <laughs> Henny who? Come on, man. Henny where? Stop playing. Yo. And I, I did not. Shut up. Not Stalin and Dennis being around here. Together on a when I first I was like that's Dennis and I was like nah, I'm here. It's very smooth. Yeah. You want to try free sample? Come on, come on down. I said clearly he was showing her that they had already made the blogs because Portia's baby daddy and Fallon was Simon's ex-wife being on a live together. Child. I was like, what in the petty princess hell is going on here? Now, I did my due diligence, okay? Because one thing, right after they posted that stuff, Portia was playing a uh, uh, um, Cardi B song. My eyes thinking up. I'm like, what in the fuck? She playing, she, she child on here, looking around. Portia, them teeth, she, child. Why do people get those veneers and they get the extra large size? I don't know. But in the, the music that's playing is Cardi. And the, right, I said, child, I'm telling y'all, within minutes, you know, a few minutes, maybe within an hour of, of uh, the video with Fallon and Dennis together on live, Portia pop, popped on live with that song playing and danced to that little part, okay? Now, I'm like, to me, Fallon and Dennis should not be the ops, in my opinion, okay? Now, should or did I ever think that they would be around here on live together? No, ma'am, no, sir. I did not think that because that is different. Child not grab Simon for the story. Like Charlie, Charlie may happen. You never know. Um, the crazy thing is, I went to both Fallon's page because I was like, "Why are they together some, in some liquor in Alabama?" And so I was scrolling back. This is Fallon's page. Okay, this is Fallon's page. And as I was scroll, because I was like, "Did Fallon have anything up with her?" you know, at that event or whatever. And I was like, oh, this is the liquor they're doing. And this from back from February 9th, they down there, February 9th, where we see he tagged Fallon. Okay, nine weeks ago with this brand of cognac and whatnot, okay? I then went to his page like, are y'all both now? He had that in his bio. So I'm assuming it's a business venture. I'm not sure. Um, but he was, you know, he was there, you know, in whatever. And I kept scrolling. I'm like, okay, so he has a whole lot of the Jack stuff on his page. Okay. So I said, okay, that's something that he's actively promoting. He's actively working with it or whatever. But I was like, well, who caught Fallon? 
Okay, who was the one that said, let's get Fallon in here? So to me, I was like, it wasn't as if it was something recent, technically, because again, he's been posting this Nyack stuff, you know, since a couple months ago. You know what I'm saying? And that was, if I'm not mistaken, okay, so the post that he showed Fallon holding the bottle. Child. Again, he been promoting this stuff. I'm just saying who and when did they get Fallon in there? Who was the messy person that said, yeah, let's, let's get Fallon in this. You know, Fallon ain't doing nothing else. You know, she not promoting nothing else. You know, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like when people felt like, oh, that's messy for Dennis and, and Fallon to all of a sudden um be doing stuff together around this time. I'm like, it seems like they've been doing stuff because it's old, old, old stuff. Oh, wait, Fallon and Dennis, but the both for two. See, but folks felt like it was messy. And I was like, I don't think so. I think people thought. They did it because of what's going on between Portia and, and Simon. And I said, no, nah, it seems like it's just business. It's just business. And this is my thing. If we all met on the show and if your ex-husband married my baby mama and we still working together, what do you want me to do? I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing to do with nothing, okay? Um, but I do think Fallon... Talking about how, you know, it's going to be up if she see to stop. Stop that. Okay? For sure. Don't do it. No. Okay? Leave it be, bitch. Leave it be. Because if you are working with Dennis, you cannot be wanting to fight Portia. Because if you're working with Dennis, eventually you're going to see Portia. And I don't think it's smart or even reasonable to want to be fighting Portia. That's stupid to me, okay? But we shall, we shall see. Anyway, y'all, that's it, that's all, okay? That's it, that's all. This is longer than I thought it would be. Um, I have to now get ready for it in the live. I have to reset my internet to hopefully uh, have it not being dumb around here. Okay, um, but I told y'all I was going to just do more. We're going to just do these topics here. I'll be back on live later on to discuss, you know, some of the fighting rappers, you know, OJ Loose over there in, in the afterlife and other things. I'll probably be live around 7, um, maybe 7.30, because I don't think anyone is watching the house. Uh, I think we are protesting or boycotting Potomac. So I'm going to be live around um, 7 or 7.30 tonight. Uh, for my next little round of things. Come on back for that. Uh, do not forget I reviewed the full series for Good Times. Go watch that. Okay, please subscribe to my channel. Like the video, you know, comment, share, and all that stuff. You know, follow me on social media at JD Corner on IG, Twitter, and Tim Talk. I was here. Hi. I was here today. <laughs> the signal was dumb, and it kept freezing, so I just got off camera. Um, but I will see y'all or talk to y'all later on today. Okay. Be good. Be safe. I love you all. Bye.